see what this guy's got. Mmm, what a place to hide a card reader. Your score is two. beautiful. What's a mermaid like you doing here in this Atlantis city? Get out! This is a private area. I've rented this ballroom for the entire cruise, and I certainly don't want anyone to see moi near anyone dressed like vous. Oh, French, huh? I so enjoy the French way. Uh, yeah, I bet you do. Still, I'm having no luck here. Maybe a few minutes of inane distraction with this imbecile will stop my creative juices flowing again. Je suis Jamie Lee, the famous hot couture fashion designer. Not Jamie Lee Coitus, former leggy supermodel? We, oui, I was, and still am quite leggy. <laughs> and who are you? Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer? You've probably heard of me too, huh? No. You look distraught. What are you working on? Distraught? I'm bugging! I was gonna use this friggin' cruise to show off my new spring line to the world fashion press. I even paid their way along with us. But now I just learned my arch rival, that bastard Calvin Crone, scooped me. He pirated my entire spring line, waited till we sailed, then showed it to the press as his spring line. He can't do that. Ha! Tell him that. But what in the hell am I supposed to do? My whole line will be laughed at. I gave it my all, and now it'll be called derivative. I gotta show something before we dock, but I'm beaten all out of inspiration. Oh, well, I wish there was something I could do to help you. You know, I used to have a lamp like that hanging over my computer desk. And your point is? Oh, uh... Nothing, I guess. I am so lame. You've gone through a lot of paper. Ugh, ain't it the truth? What am I gonna do? I gotta get an idea from somewhere. What's a nice girl like you doing in a dive like this? Hey, I'm earning a nice living, Larry. And what does this look like to Vu? A singles bar? Hey! I bet you could help me with this competition. One of my categories is best dressed man. Got any suggestions? Suggestions? Dress? Vu? Yeah, the leisure suit. It is a kind of awesome look, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you from? I am from Joyzy. So I suppose you spell your name C-U-R-T-I-S? No, why? <laughs> The collection Calvin Clone ripped off, um, what was it like? Oh, it was feminine and sexy, kicky. You know, the perfect look for the office, then out on the town. It matches the way a woman lives today. I was so totally inspired. In other words, exactly like every other designer's line. 
But if I help you out, say, with an idea, you know, you would be grateful, right? Grateful, we. Oui. Gracious, doubtful. It would be so non couture What's your favorite fabric this season? Natural dyed and patterned cotton. Soft, flowing, kicky. How about vu? Felt. Get it? <laughs> Ugh, I should have guessed. So, would there be any chance of finagling a ticket to this fashion show of yours? Oh, no. It's strictly for the industry press. We would never allow, in public, d'ordinaire. So, if there's gonna be a fashion show, there's gonna have to be models here, right? We. Oui. But what good will they do moi? They have nothing to wear! Say, that would be a show. I bet modeling is just about the best career ever. Ha! It is to live. It sucks, Larry. That's why I'm a designer and not a model. Dig? Why do designers keep changing clothes every year? I mean, why not stick with what looks really good? Like leisure suits. Uh, think, Larry. If fashion changed slowly, people wouldn't need clothes as often. They'd stop spending money. Economies would die. Millions of sweatshops and uh, factories would go out of business. Unemployment would be rampant. So don't you see, the world really needs haute couture. Oh. You don't really have your clothes made in sweatshops, do you? Ah, uh, of course not. Au contraire. No, honey, I carefully inspect every floor of every manufacturing facility in every country every day for non-politically correct conditions. Yeah, and I change the needles on all the sewing machines, too. What are you, naive? Hot Couture really provides a service to third world countries. We keep people inside, out of the sun. Sometimes it's even cooler inside. Well, usually not, but it could be. Oh. Jamie Lee, I've got a great idea. Vraiment? That means really? Let's hear it. It concerns you and me and no clothing. Oh, yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. I got it. The solution to your problem is right before your eyes. All white, but not too bright. Lightweight, but durable. Artificial and wrinkle-free. Vu? What? Oh, not me. Polyester. The leisure suit. It works for me. It's a classic look. It stood the test. It's still the best. What? Oh, we. Oui. Great. Although retro is in, and fashion has done crazier things. Really, when you come right down to it, ain't fashion just convincing people old ideas are new? Making people desire the crap they just threw away? Sacre bleu, Larry! It just might work! And the best thing is, I'll make that asshole Calvin Klein look like the fool! Say, uh-huh. Happening! Oh, but wait. It's impossible! We're in the middle of the ocean here! The press is already aboard! And I have no polyester fabric! Well, I could fax an order to chopper it aboard. No, there's no way. But I do have my best seamstresses here. No, oh, they're just for last minute alterations. There's no way they could stitch up a whole new line overnight without fabric. Eh, maybe next year. If I even have a next year. Well, I'm off, Jamie Lee. Tell me something I didn't know. Yeah, baby!
digit, please. Ben has just beaten off all covers in the self-stimulation simulation. Nobody will ever miss a couple of these dice. Sorry, Larry, but all you need is the screwdriver. Uh, remember back at La Costalotta? You mean in Leisure Suit Larry 6, Shape Up or Slip Out, Sierra's first SVGA adventure game that they've just recently included in your Greatest Hits and Misses collection? Yeah, there. So? There I needed to take two tools. Well, you don't here. Oh, yeah? How do you know? I peeked ahead in the script. Oh. So, um, tell me, do I get laid? Uh, not that much. The door doesn't quite latch. I can just walk right in. Okay, it's your ass. Your attention, please. Don has just captured the piousness portion of the contest. Yeah, baby. You never know when you might find a beautiful babe in need of a roulette wheel that needs polishing. Oh. Sure, you can take the jumper wire, but why would you ever want to prevent a jackpot? Attention dealers, special seminar. Dealing from the bottom of the deck made easy. Saturday, 3 a.m., Ship's Lounge. Pit Bosses. 
If they can't take a joke, borrow. My kid can beat your kid at craps. Fall lecture series, Fleecing the Chump. Sign up now. Dealers, hear a lecture next layover by our visiting gambling specialist, Willie the Goon, entitled, Widows, Orphans, Fools. Attention croupiers, it has come to the attention of management that cheaters have been using shaved dice. These dice look completely innocent, except one face has been shaved with sandpaper, making them win every time. This is bad for business. Even worse, these dice are undetectable to the naked eye. So as soon as you see them, confiscate them. Deposit them in the bowl below. Peggy, your prints are ready. Signed, X. That combination doesn't seem to open that locker. Jeez, if guys like that can win this contest, how hard can it be? In your case, not that hard. Drinks, anyone? Martini. Shaking. Not stirred. Yeah, could I get a little bean dip over here? Thanks, baby. You're great. Oh, yeah. no. Please, Mark has just captured the temperance portion of the contest. Just because it's all you can eat doesn't mean you're obligated to make yourself sick. Uh, why not? I don't think anyone will even notice that wee little laddie. Hands away, knife sharp, my knife. Use knife make living, Joe. You no take knife. Yeah, baby. What are you serving? We got spoke, very best. You like, okay? Pork. Yeah, that sounds good. Jesus, Mary and Joseph in a tiny canoe. Are you deep? It's spork. I heard you the first time. I'll take one serving, please. You got it, boss. No complaint, Raider. Okie dokie. My 
God! What is that? Like I've been trying to tell you, it's Spark. Oh, the processed potted meat food product that tastes as fresh as home slaughtered. Just like Mom used to butcher. Very good, boss. Now you go. Hey, uh, what's with the accent? I did I. I knew I couldn't keep it up. I'm Chinese, you see. But me parents were Buddhist missionaries, so I grew up in Ireland. People stare when I speak normally like this. So I found it simpler just to sound like some bad Charlie Chan impersonator. Too much talk. More people need smoke. <laughs> you see? Dang, Wang. That spork is tasty. How about some more? Mmm, spork good, no? Dang, Wang. Now be sure not to exceed the maximum daily allowance. Those warnings are on the can for a reason, you know. Oh no! Not enough smoke! We must get more! No touchy! Since Wang's not looking, I may as well steal his knife. Okay, but first you'd better let it cool. Okay, now. Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! 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 In a masochistic, self-abusive sort of way, you rather enjoyed that. Your attention, please. Jen has just won the Strip Shuffleboard Tournament. The sails are made from white polyester. Just like your leisure suit, Larry. Leisure suit, Larry? Hey, that's me! <laughs> Good idea, Larry. However, the sail, unlike you, is wound quite tightly. I wish I had a dollar. Wouldn't this be the place to come up with some New material? Screwing around with high voltage is always a good idea, but fortunately for you, this box is tightly screwed shut. That might do something to someone, but it does nothing to you. Good idea. Let's see what's in there.
This must be the fuse for the motors that make the sails furl and unfurl. Looks like you've found the fuse for the public address system. Looks like you've found the Hmm, what if I just connected, say, these two circuits together? Yeah, that shouldn't cause any problems, should it? Another announcement, quick, so I can get out of here. And that's the last announcement for this Ow. evening. Ow. Good night and pleasant dreams. Oh. Please, Don has just won the high-speed portion of the contest. Unfortunately. Here, Jamie Lee. I just dropped in from the Midnight Fabric Store. Get out of here. That's fat, yo. Now, quickly, take off your clothes. Hey, this is working out better than I planned. Well, okay. But you will respect me in the morning, won't you? <laughs> Move your ass, yo! I got no time for chatting. I need that leisure suit for a pattern. Oh, I thought... <clears throat> well... Oh, and give me that underwear, too! What? Why? No time to explain! Oh, no. Here we go again. <sighs> Here's my room. This time I made it. Shiver me timbers! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it looks like somebody's already shivered that poor little timber. <laughs> that little fucking son of a. Well. The ballroom is locked, but there's a note hanging on the door. Larry, meet me backstage. Jamie. All right, finally. The ballroom is locked. She left these unlocked. Here I come, baby! Jamie? Jamie Lee? Huh? Just a little farther. This time I'm gonna make it for sure. Next on Inside Affair, the Lust Boat, coming in a port near you. Let's just see what this guy's got. Mmm, what a place to hide a card reader. Your score is 100. Whoa, 100. A perfect score. Cool. You honk. Ah, the irony. You haven't changed a whit, yet you now precisely match the latest fashion trend. But give those designers a few months, soon enough, you'll once again be unhip. Your attention, please. Larry Laffer has just won the best dressed man portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 100 points. Congratulations, Larry. The world of fashion will never be the same. Drink.